Like and subscribe right now, or this spider will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Considered arguably one of the most controversial space exploration missions in existence, there's still a lot of mystery surrounding the Apollo 11 moon landing that took place in 1969. But did you know that so many secrets were not revealed to the public following the successful landing? With that being said, let's take a look at 11 strange secrets that never made it to the public regarding the 1969 event. Some of these secrets will definitely freak you out. Number 11. President Nixon was anxious that the mission could fail While President Kennedy had rallied the nation to land a man on the moon, he was assassinated before he could see the Apollo mission achieve his vision. That nerve-wracking honor fell to President Richard Nixon, who had been elected in 1968. Watching Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin take their first steps on the moon, Nixon's anxiety reached a peak. If anything went wrong, he would have to manage America's outrage over billions of tax dollars culminating in the death of two astronauts. His staff had prepared a statement to be read in the event the worst happened and organized a priest to commit their souls to the deep, much like a burial at sea. Watching Apollo 11 live being broadcasted from the moon, the president could only hope he wouldn't have to read it. He didn't. The men who had traveled more than 200,000 miles to the moon and then stepped foot on an alien world had survived. And the United States would go on to complete six crewed missions that landed a total of 12 astronauts on the moon from 1969 to 1972. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take five seconds to complete. So here's the deal. You just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell, and you will get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it, it really works. Number 10, scientists were worried about the space germs infecting Earth. After risking their lives for the advancement of humanity, Armstrong, Aldrin, and Collins had the dubious pleasure of being stuck in planetary protection quarantine on their return. Since humans had never been to the moon before, NASA scientists couldn't be sure that some deadly space-borne plague hadn't hitched a ride on the astronauts. As soon as their re-entry capsule splashed down in the Pacific Ocean on July 24th, the trio were transferred to a mobile quarantine facility, inside which they were transported to NASA. More specifically, NASA's Lunar Receiving Laboratory at Johnson Space Center, where they had access to a larger quarantine facility until their release on August 10th, 1969. Number 9. Buzz Aldrin Took Holy Communion on the Moon When Apollo 11's Eagle Lunar Module landed on the moon on July 20th, 1969, astronauts Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin had to wait before venturing outside. Their mission ordered them to take a pause before the big event. So Aldrin used some of the time doing something unexpected, something no man had ever attempted before. Alone and overwhelmed by anticipation, he took part in the first Christian sacrament ever performed on the moon, a rite of Christian communion. Number 8. Moon Dirt Smells A big question facing the NASA team planning the Apollo 11 moon landing was what would the moon's surface be like? Would the lander's legs touch down on firm ground or sink into something soft? The surface turned out to be solid, but the real surprise was that the moon had a smell. Moon soil is extremely clingy and hard to brush off. So, when Armstrong and Aldrin returned to the lunar module and repressurized it, lunar dirt that had clung to the men's suit entered the cabin and began to emit an odor. The astronauts reported that it had a burn smell, like wet fireplace ashes, or like the air after a fireworks show. Scientists would never get the chance to investigate just what the crew was smelling. While moon soil and rock samples were sent to labs in sealed containers, once they were opened back on Earth, the smell was gone. Somehow, as Charles Fishman, author of One Giant Leap, says, the smell of the moon remained on the moon. Number 7. A lot of junk was left behind on the moon Although every man on the Apollo 11 mission returned to Earth safely, they left plenty of artifacts back on the moon. Some items, such as a golden olive branch, American flag, Apollo 1 patch, 
and a moon memorial disc served a symbolic function. But there was also plenty of junk left behind, including television cables, a camera, urine, defecation collection devices, tongs, and a hammer, to name a few. NASA has compiled a list of every single item the Apollo missions left behind on the moon. Number 6. The Moon Landing Was Broadcast in HD We all remember the iconic video feed beamed to hundreds of millions of Earthlings in 1969, but the video was actually captured in higher quality than we ever saw. That's because the camera captured video in a format that commercial television stations couldn't broadcast. NASA used a scan converter to adapt the video for US broadcast signals, but by the time the images appeared on home television sets, the feed was substantially degraded. However, thanks to technology, you can watch restored versions of the moon landing. Number 5. Aldrin was the first man to urinate on the moon Armstrong was the first human to step foot on the moon, but Aldrin holds the title as the first man to urinate on it. Upon stepping foot on the moon, Aldrin promptly emptied his bladder into his spacesuit's internal urine collector. Unfortunately, Armstrong's piloting skills came back to haunt Aldrin, where he made his higher-than-expected leap from the eagle, his urine collector broke upon sticking the landing. As a result, one of Aldrin's boots filled with urine when he relieved himself. Fully aware that he was on a live radio feed, Aldrin kept that bit of information to himself. Number 4. Armstrong Landed the Apollo Too Well Although it seems counterintuitive, Armstrong landed the eagle too softly on the surface of the moon. Berman says Armstrong was supposed to cut the engines when the lander was a few feet from the surface. NASA scientists built the lander with legs that would crumple upon impact to absorb the shock. Since Armstrong was such an ace pilot, the lander's legs never crumpled. As a result, the astronauts had to exit the lander several feet higher than intended, which means that the first small step was more of a leap. Number 3. Neil Armstrong Hated Being in the Spotlight After NASA selected the Apollo 11 crew for the first moon landing, the world's attention was focused on the three astronauts that would fly to the moon. In particular, reporters were interested in Commander Armstrong and expressed a fascination with the possibility of the mission failing. According to Mr. Mailer, the NASA astronaut absolutely detested all the attention and some of the more morbid questions from the media. To fight the press, Mr. Mailer said the astronauts developed a very dry and impersonal speech, giving reporters nothing but curt replies. There were, however, times when questions would cut deep, particularly when Commander Armstrong was asked about the possibility of dying during the mission. And now we've come to the best pick of the day. Could there have been aliens on the moon? We honestly don't think so because the moon's atmosphere is not viable enough to harbor life. But that hasn't stopped conspiracy theorists from claiming that the Apollo 11 crew captured more than just moon rocks. They might have seen something more sinister. Number 2. The Apollo 11 astronauts were kept from their families The moon is an incredibly dry and barren world, devoid of any life but that which has landed on it since 1969. But up until Apollo 11 returned to Earth on July 24, 1969, there was no telling what sort of alien pathogens or diseases could have been possibly lurking on the moon. Because of this, Armstrong, Collins, and Aldrin were forced to undergo a mandatory quarantine before they could return to their loved ones. The three astronauts spent almost an entire month in quarantine, shielded from the very same Earth they only blasted away from eight days earlier. For 21 days after their return, they would not be able to be in the same room with their families or with NASA technicians and officials who would debrief them. A chamber like the visitor's room in a prison had been built with a plate glass partition hermetically sealed off from floor to ceiling running down the middle. Now that's insane. Number 1. Neil Armstrong struggled to leave the lunar module after touching down. After the Eagle Lunar Module, or LEM, landed on the moon, the astronauts had some time to prepare for their eventual EVA, or extravehicular activity. 
Because of the excitement of the event, NASA rescheduled the moonwalk by a few hours to give Armstrong and Aldrin a chance to walk on the moon earlier than planned. Unfortunately, once the time came for the astronauts to leave the LEM, Armstrong's bulky spacesuit made the ordeal rather tricky. It was obviously a very tight fit to get through the hatch. As Aldrin gave instructions, there was an inevitable suggestion of the kind of dialogue one hears between an obstetrician and a patient in the last minutes before birth. Pretty nuts, right? But with that being said, we've come to the end of this video. So, which one of these Apollo 11 moon landing secrets surprised you the most? And do you know of any other controversial moon landing secrets that were kept away from the public? Let us know in the comments section down below. Want more videos that'll exist until the very end of time? Click on any of the videos you see on the screen. And as always, thanks for watching.